Travis here with Boss Tables. Today we're going to go over proper use of the star ground. So proper use of the star ground would be this is the central grounding point for the table. You would essentially take a ground, a ground wire, not your work clamp. Your work clamp is actually positive. Everybody calls it a ground, but it's actually the positive. You connect this to here. You can essentially use a hand clamp or it can be physically bolted. Some people physically bolt it onto the machine so that way the power unit cannot be removed. That's fine too. But this is essentially your work clamp and is your positive. So when I say ground going from here, what I mean is a separate grounding cable tying your plasma cutter to ground on the casework of the machine. That will help bleed off noise. So we want to go from here with a ground cable to a power unit and from here to a ground rod. And that's very important. The ground rod cannot be a part of the building. You do not want this to be tied into your electrical circuits. It can cause noise interference with computers, noise interference with any electronic equipment and just generally mess with other things that are in the shop. Also, you know, you just want to keep, essentially what you're trying to do is you're trying to take any noise, especially on a high amperage machine like a Max Pro, XBR, HBR, Kelberg 200, 400, you want to take that and dump it into ground and keep it off of the building and keep it off of the machine. So we're going to go from here to the power unit, to the casework of the power unit, from here to a ground rod. We want to see a very low resistance path to the ground rod. It is better to drive ground rods on top of each other with a ground rod coupler than it is to physically start laying ground rods in a grid. We like to typically get it under one or two ohms. We want to see a very, very low path to ground because the lower resistance to ground, the better drain we have for noise, essentially protecting your equipment and it will actually cut much better. You can audibly hear it in the cut, a good ground versus a bad ground. It is absolutely imperative that you do this. Even guys with a power max will see cut results, better cut quality, better hole quality, with the proper grounding of equipment. You can move this to essentially the slats or the material directly. That is acceptable, but this is the preferred location to keep everything at the star ground.